Hey guys, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another Jurassic World unboxing and review video. Today we'll be taking a look at both color variants of the Gigantic Trackers Triceratops from the Epic Evolution lineup. Now, these figures have a very unique uh, action feature where they have a kind of rolling um, wheel on the back that you rotate, and then their, uh, you know, action feature works. But they also have um, this, quote, epic evolution feature where you can have um certain spikes or or quills or things like that pop out of the dinosaur um with a little um switch and both of these of course have the same action feature but um the kind of bluish gray triceratops um released first on shelves for about a month or two and then was later replaced with the mint green version. So um, I don't believe anyone has seen this gray version recently, um, but if you have, please let me know down in the comments. It'd be interesting to see if it's still on shelves anywhere else, um, because I may want to pick up another one, but it possibly is too late for that. Um, if you do see this one, make sure to pick it up if you don't like the mint green one, because this one, from what I hear, is going extinct, and that guy has already taken over. So, we'll start with my favorite color variant, the um, kind of grayish-blue uh, Triceratops. Now, these guys have a very weird um, design to them. They're very armored. It's something we saw in um, a lot of the remolds from this lineup and the previous lineup um, with like the baby Brachiosaurus being from the mountains and then they added like the scoot armor on the back. Um, same with a few other um, retool dinosaurs. They kind of sculpted in some additional armor and stuff depending on where they lived. This guy lives in the snowy mountains it shows. So um, that's pretty neat. And I'm assuming because of that, they kind of gave it some um, adaptation to the cold, which to them is the armor plating. Um, you can see the boxes even have the color variant um, on them, which is interesting. Instead of just um, doing the uh, the grayish blue um, variants box art for the mint, they completely redid the box art. I have no clue why they did this. It's a very bizarre choice. Um, I can't wrap my head around it, but um, it's pretty neat nonetheless that they actually put in the effort to put the color variation on the back of the box as well, and not just reuse this one. Um, but you can see there's a little switch on the back of the head, pops back those um, spikes for evolved battle, um, and then it has that rampage attack. I love how they call it rampage attack, that's pretty neat. Reminds me of a lot of the classic Triceratops um, figures, and I don't know, it kind of throws me back. Um, what's that game? Jurassic Park uh, Rampage Edition for um, it's an old game console. But yeah, I know, <laughs> really cool that they uh, just added that word instead of just a oh, ram attack or something. Um, but yeah, so you rotate this wheel on the back backwards, and it tilts the head down rotate it forwards and it tilts the head up. And then if you keep rotating it, the neck actually extends a bit like that. Um, kind of reminds me of the uh, Lost World uh, 1997 um, Pachycephalosaurus figure um, where you'd press a button on its back and the head would ram out and the neck would kind of get long like this. Um, and then if you ro rotate it repeatedly, it does the attack on repeat. Um, that's pretty neat. I love that sort of feature where the head actually um, swivels down like that and the horns are pointed forward uh, just perfectly so it can hit a target. Um, this is um, similar to the paint job you'd see in the uh, Lost World um, unreleased Triceratops or potentially the Lost World uh, baby Triceratops figure that was actually released. And we'd later see Mattel reuse this paint job in the 2019 Dino Rivals um, Triceratops figure. And you can see that the stripes are more um, similar to the Lost World 
unreleased Triceratops figure. It has an opposite sort of attack feature. Now this one has more of a um, egg shell white uh, horn color uh, and the beak's a little darker. Whereas this one has the egg shell white on the beak, but the horns are just straight white. Um, and they don't have the stripes like this Triceratops does. It has the um, little armor scoots um, painted kind of like a brownish, almost like a bronze color. Um, I do like that the horns are separate rubber. They're kind of um, flexible, so they're not painted on. You won't have any um, paint scuffing like this guy has you can see a little bit of the paint has scuffed on that horn uh this one you can ram it into whatever you want and it's not going to scuff same with the horns on the back of the head so you can see there's some textured kind of scales back here and then a weird chunk of skin that you can press on and pull up to have those um kind of like styracosaurus horns pop out and they're completely separate from these horns, these little ones that rim the head. Um, so the frill has um, unpainted little horns and then these kind of spikes that stick out. Um, that's pretty cool for play. I'm not really too interested in it in like a realistic standpoint. I mean, I can't really see how uh, it do that in the... Uh, the new Camp Cretaceous um, film that's coming out. They do have the uh, the Allosaurus in this lineup with like spikes that stick out of its back. And that is kind of geared towards the Netflix show. So I don't know if they're going to have this action feature on the dinosaurs in the show. Probably not. But it's, uh, it's an interesting gimmick, I guess. Um, evolution happens slowly over time. This is more of like a instant thing, maybe like a mutation or something but um yeah it's it's pretty weird but i do like that ramming feature and at least those horns are hidden i mean they're not too bad looking it's not like they they're like ugly or anything it's just kind of bizarre same with the design of the triceratops kind of bizarre um that they chose this weird um kind of armor plating uh, reminds me of like an ankylosaur or maybe like a titanosaur in terms of like the placement and the shapes but it's uh very apparent it stands out and this looks nothing like of course the movie triceratops um which we have here it is a medium tier whereas this one's like medium small so it kind of fits in between perfectly, which is pretty nice. Um, but again, the uh, design is super uh, different from what we already have. This guy has the uh, Jurassic World Triceratops head. Um, and then this one with the Jurassic Park. And then this one, its own unique kind of armored, evolved mountain variant. Um, but I do like that it shares the same color as the Lost World unreleased um, Triceratops. It also has a painted um, chin, neck, belly. So that's really nice that they did that. And it makes it look like a finished figure. Um, yeah, so let's unbox the next one. So the mint version. which is basically going to have the same features, just of course the different paint job. And I appreciate that these ones don't have anything that locks the feet into place because uh, that's just a whole nother can of worms for unboxing the figure. Same paint on the underbelly um, in terms of color, it seems, and uh, placement. Same with the horns, same with the um, the kind of bronze coloration on the uh, the armor there. Um, and the head also rotates down. And it seems like the horns are also the same color white. So everything is the same except for the base color. Um, it's cool, you can actually have these guys like ram each other. Um, that's pretty neat. Their heads have a little bit of a 
tiny bit of a swivel to them. So when they come together, they uh, have a little bit of leeway. Um, that's pretty neat. And of course their action feature there is the same. They pop out at the same height. Um, and the legs of course are posable. Ooh, that's weird. So they have a kind of, they're not like loose in terms of you can just pose it whatever. They have a certain click to them. And they're pretty stiff too. Front legs also have it. It's a bit more looser, but you can see they click into certain positions. Um, interesting. And I'm not sure if their scan codes are different. Again, I haven't touched the scan code um, fax app in a while. I don't really see anything too different with those. Uh, maybe there's like one pixel that's a different color. But I doubt it. They probably scan in as the same thing in the game. Uh, if you want, you guys can scan them right now, and someone can let me know down in the comments if they are indeed the same figure in the uh, fax app, or if they're different. Um, but I'm putting my bets on the fact that they'll be the same. But who knows? They put uh, the effort into the box art. Maybe they put both into the game. Um, and then this kind of mint green reminds me of the um, 1993 Triceratops. Um, just a tad bit. I mean, obviously this is more of like a brownie green, but um, still green nonetheless, like greeny-ish. Um, and the kind of uh, larger uh, little osteoderms or whatever you call them. They're more emphasized on this one, but they're there on the old figure as well. Um, I mean, obviously the the um, movie Triceratops does have them, and you can see they're they're very much apparent on this figure and painted. But um, this guy is definitely more exaggerated and has actually less of them. They're just a lot bigger. So yeah, there are the Epic Evolution. Um, gigantic trackers triceratops color variants and some comparisons so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um be sure to check out my future videos i have a lot of unboxings and reviews to do so i'll be um, pumping them out this week and next and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye